Today, we are watching Cassie's Bookish Corner. It's one of her reading vlogs. It's not February the 11th. Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm doing something pretty exciting, I guess. I'm making 10 more small booktuber Sunday shout-out recommendations. So, I know a lot of people have been doing like, I guess, weekly videos with recommendations and stuff, and obviously a lot of people have been doing Strike Back Video-a-thon and tagging people in that. And, um, I don't know, because I've kind of got my, my video schedule pretty tightly defined, I feel as though, uh, you know, quite often I'm, I'm struggling to find ways to give these shout outs and stuff and that's a shame. And on top of that, because of Small Booktuber Sunday and, uh, again, Strike Back Videoathon as well, because of both of these things, I've found so many new channels that either I wasn't subscribed to before or that I was subscribed to but I only just subscribed to and I didn't give them a shout out in my last video. And so I wanted to do a, another video recommending 10 more. So. With that in mind, here we go. Here are, the, here are 10 more people. So person number one is Sophisticated Books. Now, Sophie is 14 and I didn't realize that until Catalyst Reads gave her a shout out in his recommendations video because she's so like eloquent and thoughtful. She, she reads a bit of everything and, and I respect her for that and I think her channel's wicked so you should go and check it out. All right, number two, we have Justin, AKA Ghost Reader. And um, I came across Justin before Strike Back Videoathon and all that actually because um, he, he came along and participated with January where a bunch of us read June back in January and actually the reason why I want to give Justin a shout out now is because I know the point of these videos is usually to give shout outs to people with less than a thousand subscribers and when I subscribed to him he was on like 70 and it's been about a month and he's like on like 480 or something so I want to give him a shout out now before his channel really blows up and he's the next big booktuber now in particular, what I like about Justin's videos is the way he dresses and his background music. Now that might sound a bit weird, but if you've seen his videos, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. He's just got so much style. All right, number three we have On The Stoop, and this is the place to go if you want kind of, I think a lot of discussion videos are great. So On The Stoop is run by Sean, who is from over here in the UK, and his channel's interesting because he's, again, he's very thoughtful in some of the content that he puts out, and there's always something to comment on, if, if that makes sense, you know. Um, I also like he's been doing, um, I can't remember the name for it, but he's been wearing blazers for his videos every now and then. And he looks very suave when he does as well. But equally, it's just interesting to get, I think he's got a very unique sort of point of view, especially when it comes to his discussion videos and the kind of books that he reads. And I would definitely recommend checking him out if you haven't already. So number four, we have Mad Mystical Monk, who I have only recently checked out his channel, actually. I, uh, I provide a bit of helpful advice between like, film in landscape, not in portrait. But um, he reads some, what, this is why I like his channel, he reads some very strange books that I've never heard of. And like, I mean, his, 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 his channel name says it all really. That's what I, that's when, I, when I'm looking for booktubers, I like to find people who don't just read the same stuff as everybody else. <laughs> and his channel definitely counts for that. So, um, and he's relatively new as well. So if you haven't heard about his channel, go over and check it out. Um, and I will see you in his comments. We have Damien Tariquez, so you might have heard me mention him before because we're buddy reading Cassandra Clare's books in publication order. It's actually me, him, and we're being joined by Lisa West Coast Reads and Kit Cats Can Read as well. And uh, yeah, he's a really nice guy. He also does a few bits of like fashion and that kind of stuff if you're interested in that. He dances as well. I should point out as well, all of these people are linked to in the description below to make it easier for you to go and check them out. Okay, then we have Read Remark. So I'm gonna be honest here, this is me getting slightly geeky, but one of my favorite things about Read Remarks videos is that <laughs> the audio. <laughs> she's got, a, I think it's a lapel mic that she wears, and so you can really clearly hear what she's saying. And so it's not like sometimes you're watching people and there's background noise and this and that. And, um, you know, quality isn't everything, but, you know, she has a very kind of unique take on the books that she reads and you can understand what she's saying as well which is great i think she recently had maybe was it a booktube anniversary or a uh, something like that or you know a, a land a, a milestone subscriber milestone so she shared like highlights and um that's a really great video actually to watch if you want to go and see you know if you want to catch up on what you've missed if you haven't been subscribed up to this point. All right, then we have Sarah Ossie SFF, or maybe Sarah Ozzy SFF. I suppose it depends how you pronounce the word Ossie or Ozzy. 
sounds wrong saying Aussie, so I'm going for Aussie. Anyway, as you can tell from her ch channel title, she reads a lot of SFF, so science fiction and fantasy. And um, again, she's just a really nice person just to chat to as well. So she reads these really interesting SFF books that half the time I'm either, I either haven't heard of them but wish I had, or I have heard of them, haven't read them, but I really want to as well. So um, I think her channel inspires me to want to read more SFF. And um, she's just a really nice, really nice booktuber to get in, get in a chat with. Then we have Jashana C, who also has a great microphone, by the way. And uh, but also Jashana C does some uh, author tube stuff as well, I believe. So she's been a lifelong writer as well. So she does a really cool mixture of booktube stuff and author tube stuff, but in a way that, like, it actually really interests me. Like, I find not all author tube videos are that interesting because. You know, I think it's easier to talk about the, the books that we're all reading than the books that we're all writing. But actually, when Jashana does some uh, author tube stuff, it's really cool and, and quite interesting as well. Number nine, then we have Brian's bookshelves, and um, yeah, Brian's videos are great as well. He's quite—I um, I was going to say an older gentleman, but that's a bit mean. There are a lot of old—I would say older booktubers, basically people 30 plus. I like those channels because those people tend to be immune to hype a little bit more. They've lived a bit more, I guess, and. So uh, Brian, Brian has pretty good taste in books, but he's also just so soft-spoken. He's also into like uh, amateur dramatics as well. So he did, he's doing a series actually at the moment where he talks about, you know, takes you behind the scenes as he's putting on a show, which is very cool. And um, that was fascinating actually. I highly recommend watching that, even if you don't do like. I mean, I can't act. I, well, I can act like a weirdo, but that's not really acting. That's method acting. But Brian did this great video where he talks about, you know, how you even choose what play you're going to put on, and it depends. Okay, well, who have we got available to cast it? You know, what resources? How large is the stage? And all this stuff. And I thought it was fascinating to watch that. So check that out. And finally, we have Charles at the Book Sage, and this is another person who I'm literally shouting out in this video because I want to shout him out now. Before before he grows too big and I can no longer shout him out as a small booktuber because he'll just be a booktuber or a large booktuber, I don't know. I don't know how these distinctions work. I mean, am I a small booktuber? Maybe. I don't know. Someone let me know. But um, Charles is another one who has great audio. I honestly think audio, get yourself a nice little microphone. Like, it, it works really well. That's what I'm using. I'm using my my snowball mic. Yeah, Charles is doing all kinds of cool stuff. He's currently doing his first ever reread of uh, the Harry Potter series, so he's read it before, but he's rereading it again, and he's kind of documenting the process as he goes. Even things though, like if he does something like a Friday read or something like that, it's great. Like, and the whole aesthetic of his videos is just so chill, so relaxed, and um, you just feel so welcome when you're watching them. So yeah, there are 10 more booktubers that I recommend. Please don't be offended if you're not on the list. I should actually make, I might do this. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do this and I'll make like a full list of all of the booktubers that I watch. And uh, I think there are probably a couple hundred maybe. So I can't include everyone, unfortunately. But um, these are the ones that sprung to mind when I was like, you know what, I should do another recommendations video. So yeah. Go out and check a bunch of those channels out. I heartily recommend all of them. Again, they're all channels that I watch. And you'll, you'll see me in the comments if you watch them, to be honest. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, please hit like if you've enjoyed this video. Recommend any channels you'd like to in the, in the comments, whatever you call them. I can't remember anymore. My brain's a little bit fried. I filmed like five videos today. Oops. But yeah, recommend some channels to me below because I'm always looking for new channels to subscribe to. And in the meantime, hit subscribe to me if you haven't already, I guess. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.